The alcoholism started at the age of 21, and after that, the party was pretty much on. My life was in shambles. As time went on, um, the alcoholism, it progressed. I started out with a couple, you know, having here and there, and then, then I turned into a weekend binge drinker. Life wasn't going so great. There were times that I almost become homeless. There was a time that I thought I would just, you know, give up, and it was like the end of the road, you know. Somebody had found me in my apartment. I don't remember what happened, but I had a whole bottle of pills and a fifth of Windsor. Um, by a miracle, I ended up to the hospital. The uh, nurses and doctors observed me for the night. As the day went on, um, my condition became worse and it, my kidneys, my liver, everything just started shutting down. And by eight o'clock, they were airlifting me out down to Sacred Heart Hospital. I was in a induced a coma for a week and people were around my bedside praying and laying hands on me and I had seen a tunnel and it started out I was walking through darkness and I walked into the light and the light was so intense I couldn't even I couldn't even take it and then I had woken up and um, life really changed after that you know um, I got into the church here at Red Cedar and you can just feel the there's something in the church that you can just feel and it's just awesome it's it's hard to explain guys I decided to give my life to Christ. I kneeled down and said, I cannot take this no more. This not even having life to a second chance at life and now living proof of what can happen. The most amazing thing of all this was the doctor, he had told me to go back to another doctor in Rice Lake to get rechecked on my kidneys and liver because I was looking at dialysis. It was full blown. My kidneys and liver were shot for life. Dialysis, just the sound of dialysis scared me bad. And I prayed about it, you know, the night before. And I went to the doctor and the doctor is like, there's no kidney, no liver damage. You are perfectly well. I'm like, wow. And it's all about God today. It really is. It's amazing what a God we got. God is so more real to me than he ever was. It's. He's brought me to a place of peace and a lot of happiness and freedom that I had never had before. It just brings tears to my eyes from what I was and who I am now, where I am today. And for that, I am grateful. My name is Jerry and I am free.